Let's take a look at the functions you'll use most often when you're working with layers in the Layers panel. You can follow along with this image from the practice files for this tutorial or with a layered image of your own. Over on the right in the Layers panel, the order in which the layers are stacked from top to bottom controls the front to back arrangement of content in the image. For example, in this image, the Tailor layer is above the Pattern layer in the Layers panel. And so in the image, the Taylor photo with the man in the red hat is on top of the pattern photo where those two photos overlap. Well, what if you wanted the Taylor photo here to be behind the pattern photo in the image? In that case, come over to the Layers panel and select the Taylor photo by clicking on it. Then click, hold, and drag the Taylor layer beneath the pattern layer. Now this can be tricky. You need to wait until you see a double line below the pattern layer and then release your finger from the mouse or the trackpad. And that moves the tailor layer beneath the pattern layer in the layers panel. And look what happened over in the image. The photo of the tailor is behind the photo of the pattern. Another thing you're probably wondering about is how to create a new layer. Let's say that I want a new empty layer on which I could add pixels, maybe by painting with the brush tool. First, think about where you want to add the layer in the layer stacking order and select the layer just below that. In this example, I'd like to add a new layer above the pattern layer because I want to paint on top of this pattern. So I'll go to the layers panel and I'll select the pattern layer and then I'll create my new layer by going to the bottom of the layers panel and clicking this icon with the turned up page corner. That creates a new layer above the pattern layer. Adding a layer this way creates a pixel based layer on which you could do things like add color. If you use a different tool like the type tool or the shape tool, or if you use the place embedded command to add a new photo or another image to a composition, all as we'll do later in this tutorial series, Photoshop will make a new layer for you automatically. So don't be surprised if you see extra layers in your layers panel when you use any of those functions. When you do make a new layer, it's a good idea to give it a name that's meaningful to you so it's easier to find later. To rename any layer, double click right on the layer name and type right over it to enter your own name. I'm going to type paint and then press enter or return on the keyboard. Now let's put this new layer to use by adding some color to it. I'll go up to the swatches panel. If your swatches panel isn't open, open it from the window menu at the top of the screen. In the swatches panel, I'm going to click on a color. You can use any color you like. And then I'll move over to the tools panel where I'll select the brush tool. I'll go up to the options bar for the brush tool and I'll click on the brush picker where I have a size slider that I can drag to the right to change the size of this brush. And then I'll move into the image and I'll start to paint and the brush picker closes as I paint on the pattern. Because the paint is on its own layer in the layers panel, you have lots of flexibility to edit that paint splotch without affecting the rest of the image. As just one example, you could change the opacity of the paint layer. With the paint layer selected, I'll go up to the top of the layers panel and I'll click the arrow to the right of Opacity, and then I'll drag the Opacity slider to the left. Keep your eye on the paint splotch as I do this, and you can see that it gets less and less opaque or more transparent. I'll click off of the Opacity slider in a blank area to close that slider. That's a simple way to blend the content of two layers together. Finally, what if you decide that you don't want the contents of the new layer at all? You can delete that layer or any layer by selecting it, and then pressing the delete key on a Mac keyboard or the backspace key on a Windows keyboard. And don't worry, you can undo that by pressing Command plus Z on the Mac or Control plus Z on a Windows keyboard. And here is a bonus tip. There are even more layer related commands located in the panel menu, which you can access by clicking this little menu icon at the top right of the layers panel. So if you ever wanna do something else with your layers, like maybe duplicate a layer, Take a look in this menu. So that's how to use some of the most common layer functions, changing layer stacking order, creating a new pixel-based layer, changing layer opacity, and deleting a layer.